Hey guys, welcome to the homestead. So sunchokes, otherwise known as Jerusalem artichokes, are one of the easiest things you can grow in your homestead. They're guaranteed, unless you really screw it up and really work hard to, to not allow them to grow, they're gonna grow back on your homestead every year. Um, you, you don't even need really good soil. If you just have nominal soil, average soil, and you plant sunchokes in it, they will come back year after year. Um, and so there's different ways you can prepare it. Today I prepared chips just like salted chips, potato chips. And then this also was kind of like potato chips, but with a different spice mix in them, so they're a little bit darker. Um, you can take these and make these into tons of recipes. There's tons of recipes online. If you just search for sunchoke recipes, you'll find lots of them. And so we have made soups with these. Jamie has made soups with these in the kitchen. She's prepared them in different ways. Um, I like the soups. Uh, the, only, the only caution that I give you is that these need to be cooked well. If they're not cooked well, they can give you gas. Okay, so they're sometimes called fartichokes. <laughs> so, um, but if you cook them well, they're not going to have, you're gonna have a lesser problem or not a problem at all with that. Um, you can eat them raw. You know, they're perfectly fine to eat raw. However, then you have that gas problem. Uh, but uh, they're good raw. Just eating one won't give you gas. But it tastes delicious just raw but they're very healthy for you they're very nutrient dense uh, much much more nutrient dense than a potato and so um, i highly recommend if you have a homestead if you have a section of your garden that you want to grow these in grow them but understand that they are an invasive they are classified as an invasive species and they will spread so put them in an area where you don't mind them spreading out a little bit because they will spread. If you keep mowing them down every year, um, th that'll help the spread, uh, the part where you don't want them to grow. Just mow them over or weed whack them down. Another thing, deer love these things. Uh, if you want to draw deer into your property, they will come in and they will munch on the plants during the summer, okay, in spring and summer. So they, you know, if you, if, if you want to use them for that purpose, you can use them for that purpose. Um, but yeah, the deer love these plants. They're a tuber. You just dig them up, you wash them off, and you can prepare them a number of ways. Again, there's so many ways you can use these. Lots of recipes online. Just Google it. You'll find tons of recipes. It's a guaranteed food source in the middle of winter. It's the middle of January, January right now, and these things are harvestable all throughout the winter. And so, uh, yeah, go grow some sunchokes. 
Where can you get sunchokes? There's lots of places online you can order them. We unfortunately at this time don't sell them yet. That's something we're planning on in the future. If I can get another bed established somewhere, having a little bit of trouble with that right now because I just didn't do it right. But if, if you want to if you want to grow these, there's lots of places that buy them online. Just put them in some pretty good soil, some nominal soil, you know, and then cover them up with some hay, uh, some straw, or some mulch, and they will grow, guaranteed. And, and it's a guaranteed food source all, all winter long. So that's it. That's Sunchokes. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time on the homestead.